So it's 6.52 in the morning. And it's garage sale day today. And there's going to be a community sale in my area. About uh, maybe 100 or so homes that will be having yard sales. So yeah, that's the morning. I did come up with an idea where I'm going to be having a plastic bag. And I'm going to be taking these games along with me. Uh, what ends up happening is a lot of times people don't know what I'm talking about. I'll have to ask them what I have. Uh, for if they have any video games and then I list all the games they kind of scratch their head they're kind of puzzled uh, I had a few haters uh, last video saying oh you basically uh, harass people at their yard sales but in reality I'm not really harassing anyone I'm just asking them questions they might seem a little aggressive but that's just how I that's just how I am as a, um, a collector I just have to ask people and when you ask people, you'll get them. And last week, you basically seen what I got. So this week, I hope to do the same thing. But I like to show people in my bag what I have so they can probably come up with something like this. A little bit of a crack. Yeah, today. I noticed that. <laughs> I bought my first game, but... Terminator Salvation. Well, we'll knock down the whatever the price is, but there. whatever, if you want it's to take it. So yeah, that's <laughs> the game I got. got a I dollar. No, I don't Do you have the other cords to go with it, or it's no, just that's it. that's it? Okay, so it's uh, five dollars for the Wii. Yeah. All right. Here you go. Thank you. So we're purchasing yeah. Xbox 360 controller, Need for Speed Most Wanted, and Tino Santana, all for six dollars, right, sir? Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Fun. Yeah. So the Wii will take five dollars for? Yep. Oh yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, it has all the cords and everything there. I guess so. Yeah, it does. Alrighty. Have a quick look to see if I there's think there's extra cords in there, but which, which we don't need. Yeah, okay. We don't need any of those because we've got to make these. Yeah. Different... Alright, that's fine. $5 it is. Yep. $5 and how many costs this one? Yeah, you'll need to put batteries in these. Oh, that's fine. And they go around them. Alright, thank you guys so much. On the end, like that. One, two, three, four, five. And six, all for twenty dollars. Yeah, good deal. Alrighty, and that bag really helped. <laughs> Thank you. You asked for the games, got the games, and now the system for ten dollars, right? Yep. All right, everything works with the yep. controllers. All right, wonderful. Ten dollars it is. Yeah. Game Boy, and these games here. Uh, you didn't. You mentioned you didn't have anything else, uh, so twenty dollars is fine for them. Sure. All right, twenty dollars it is. Thank you so much. Thank you for bringing these games out. Uh, what were you looking on them? Sorry? What were you looking to purchase, like if I were to buy them? Oh, new? Yeah, yeah. like would you take a... Uh, no, 17 for everything. A 17 for everything? That's yeah. fine. I'll yeah. take that for 17. Yeah. Okay, never okay. seen these yeah. games That's before. That's a car racing, car racing. That's a car racing one? Yeah, Simpsons, okay. French Translator, Toy Story, Golf, and Monopoly. Monopoly, alright, and that's the... That's wow. the Game Boy. Yeah. That looks awesome, all right. Yeah. $17 it is. Yeah. So we Sports, NHL, Complete Saga, Price is Right, Donkey Kong Returns, and Super Mario Galaxy. Two for a dollar is one, two, three dollars. All right. Yeah. Thank you. So we're getting Pokemon for the Wii U. And Satoon, uh, both for seven dollars. Um, they're both for five dollars. Okay, that's fine. All right, that's uh, fair enough. Thank you. All right, some comics. I don't know much about comics. They look pretty nice, but uh, if anyone knows about these comics, let me know. Some pretty cool ones. All X Men stuff you have, sir. Yeah. Some cable stuff, I guess. Yeah. Well, a few, Batman, a few Batman, old Batmans or newer Batmans? Uh, okay. Well, I don't know too much about these guys, but uh, 
I will be getting this one here and this one here both for five dollars all right uh, how much are your games uh, ten five dollars each five dollars each. Uh, each would you take uh let me see oh, okay uh, would you take two of them for five dollars for sure okay <laughs> all right um yeah we sports we play already five five dollars it is all right, so there's Toy Story here, okay. bottom of the ninth, Madden 64, Mario Party 3, Mario Party 2. So I would take, I don't need the sports games, but I'll take uh, these these three. Uh, would you happen to have a remote for them by any chance? Uh, no, because um, I think we're going to hang on, we're hanging on to the system. Okay, would you happen to have the box and the manual for them, the original box and the manuals? No, no we got them at like... Yeah, we got them off someone, so we don't have all those. Okay, so these are the only ones you have, right? We have so. a couple. We have others, but we're going to keep them. I can take a look at them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's a serious. So the Super Smash Bros, how much for that, sir? Five dollars. Five dollars? Yeah. Alrighty, that's cool. From this great epic yard sale right here. I scored a Smash Brothers. Two Mario Parties and a Toy Story. Here you go. There's the five dollars. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, only Nintendo, but PS1. I don't mind uh, collecting for PS2 stuff. Uh, any any sort of video game. Donkey Kong, Sonic Rings, and Wolverine. Uh, so yeah. All for a dollar, a dollar each, right? So four dollars total. Yeah. Yeah. If you, you have any other thing else, I'd buy that as well. So Zelda and Mario Party Two. Uh, how much are these, sir? There's a buck piece. Dollar a piece. That's fine. That's a wonderful deal. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. And would you wouldn't happen to have anything else? Uh, I'm keeping the Golden Eye and Perfect Dark. Those Perfect are Dark. Two. Okay. All right. Uh, would you have to have Mario Party? Uh, I don't. Oh, sorry, uh, Mario Kart. No, I don't have Kart. All right. No problem. Thank you so much. All right, so I asked around, no games, but they do have these Wii remotes, nothing in the back. There's a sensor bar, an HDMI cable, so I'm paying a dollar for everything. Uh, so there's one more there, so I'm paying a dollar for all that. But sadly, no games. Came a little too late. Uh, picking up a old Game Boy, no back. Never seen this game. A Mario, Dr. Mario. Plans for Zombies, Duke Nukem, and Star Wars Saga, all for $7. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. That's good. Thank you so much. Thank you for lightening our, uh, our collection. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> all right. I found a retro game collector, and he gave me a good deal on Double Dash, a FIFA 2002, and for the wireless wave control. How much, sir? 35. 35. That's fine. These are the games he had, um, which I'll quickly show. But I will be passing on them just because I'm running out of my cash. But I'm really happy to find Double Dash. So Caliber and that. So these are the games I won't be getting, and these are going to be the things I'll be getting. I'm taking away. The other Final Fantasy. That's a good idea. Most some manuals. We, I'm not, I have Xbox. We don't have uh, PlayStation. Digimon World. Demo Disc. That's a good time to and all of these for five dollars. Five dollars is good for them. All right, thank you. Yeah, he, he said he said there offer him anything. He said ten five, so I said I'll give him five. All righty, thank you so much. All right, to start off with, uh, I got these remotes right here. I paid him a dollar for all the remotes. There was I think four remotes. I couldn't find all of them, uh, so that was that. And I picked up uh, these two books right here, Batman Stories in 5 Minutes and DC Super Friends 5 Minute Stories, uh, both for a dollar each. And I got uh, these uh, two DVDs for a dollar each. 
Um, so it was kind of a strange day today. I don't usually buy systems, but the systems were so good that I couldn't pass up on the offers. The people just wanted $5 for Wii systems. So one of the Wii systems I got was with uh, the system and two remotes uh, for $5. I particularly picked it up because I don't have the blue remote and the black remote I can bundle up with the system. So I got two re Wii systems, $5 each. I'll show you those shortly. And I got this Tito Santana, a uh, really cool toy, uh, just for a dollar. So we're going to begin to see what I got this week with a quick recap. All right, for starters, I was walking around with that bag uh, full of games. And in that bag full of games, I happened to ask if the gentleman had any Game Boys or anything like that video game related. And he actually was, I think, 70 years old. And he said, yeah, I have this. I have this. And he brought me this. Uh, so we negotiated a price for $17. So I did get that. Uh, and I also got this Monopoly that went with it. So those six games with that uh, was $17. I did manage to score on a pretty banged up, beat up uh, Game Boy. I don't know if it works, but I'm still really happy to pick it up for $2. I got to pick this WaveBird controller up with the receiver from a, actually a game collector. He was actually having a yard sale and I actually managed to score um, that Mario Kart Double Dash and uh, another game for the GameCube, which was a soccer game. Uh, nevertheless, I was really happy with that pickup there. Uh, I did have to spend a little bit more than I usually spend at a yard sale, so I did spend $35. The remote's quite dirty, but with Mario Kart Double Dash, you can't go wrong. I was complete in box, so I was really happy with that. Um, these two games also came. Unfortunately, this game was cracked. And there's that Dr. Mario game right there. But I did manage to swing a few of these games, uh, which were Wolverine, Duke Nukem, uh, Prince of Persia, Sonic. So these are going to most likely go for trade bait. I do uh, trade to other game stores. So I generally buy if the price is right for the games if they're 50 cents to a dollar i will be getting a bunch of them <clears throat> uh just had a really bad uh allergy season going on so i do uh am suffering from a little bit of a cold so do forgive me if my voice uh comes off uh and then i got these games all here for 50 cents a piece uh and there was a mario galaxy there um that i also got uh, for 50 cents. These two games, uh, the kid, he wanted $7 for two of them, but he goes, uh, he wanted 10 later. So I said, sure, I'll give you $10. He was a cool, cool little kid. So I was really happy to get that. Uh, I did get this Wii Play, uh, Wii Party. This was actually selling for a lot of money back in the day to GameStop, but, uh, now it's quite dramatically reduced in price. Uh, Red Dead Redemption, Game of the Year, I got, and Nightmare of the Year. So those two were a very good score. Um, yeah, so going on to the systems, I usually never ever find systems. But once again, I did bring a bag of games. So I was just talking to people and I said, hey, do you have any of these? And a lady said, yeah, I do. So initially, uh, I managed to score on the Micro Machines, uh, Blades of Steel, Track and Field, uh, Lynx Adventure, uh, Mario Bros., and football so I did a score with that uh, for $20 and then she said oh I, I came back and I said hey would you mind to sell the system and she said yeah I don't mind we don't even use it anymore so I got the system for $10 so th for $30 that was not a bad deal um, getting on to these games right here uh, this was a complete fluke uh, I did have uh, some N64 games. I brought one NHL, I believe. And with that NHL, the guy's like, oh yeah, I remember I have something like this. So he did have four games. Well, from the four games, he sold me these two. So Mario Party 2 all day will sell for $50. And the Zelda game there will sell for about $20, $25. So together, you know, to paying a dollar a piece on them, that was really good. Um, I also, once again, flashed my N64 games, uh, that one N64 game I had, and a little boy came out, 
Uh, first, the mother said, oh, yeah, we do have these games. Let's go and get these games. So she brought out five games. She brought two sports titles, which I didn't end up buying. But I, once again, I bought this, this, and this for uh, $5 each. So that was $15. And I started to drive away. And uh, the child uh, said, oh, mom, I have another game. And I, I was kind of... Uh, I kind of was pushing to find a little bit more games, but they didn't want to sell them. That was fine. I was cool with that. But uh, she did uh, uh, decide that she wanted to keep a few games. So while I was walking away, I said, oh, by the way, do you have Smash Bros? And by coincidence, I believe the kid's name was Poland or Nolan. I don't know what the name was. But uh, he came out and he said, I'll sell you this game as well. So I paid $5 for that. Uh, these were the two Wii games. And it, towards the end, I actually scored on, again, PS1 games. Once again, you don't ask, you don't get. Uh, last week, I had a little bit of uh, criticism by saying, oh, I harass the people. But I really don't harass the people. I just ask them uh, if they have any video games. I might have to ask them a little bit more. People jot down and remember what they have so i ended up getting all of these for five dollars so that was a phenomenal deal i actually just picked up digimon world this uh this year uh so this is alone a 60 dollar game so i did manage to get that back with the manual so i was really happy to get all these right here and i got to keep uh a few of these so uh we've got one two three four copies of wii sports one for wii resorts and uh, overall was good and this is the first score of the day which was terminator salvation so this is a game i've never really played i actually want to play i'm actually quite interested in playing this game so i was really happy to get that and there's that raving rabbit game right there uh there was also a another game with this raving rabbit that i didn't end up getting on camera which i believe was a a pokemon battle revolution so that was five dollars each i was fine paying those prices uh, so overall i was really happy with this week uh, i i thought it was not going to be as good as last week but i was really surprised i ended up having this and i actually oh, whoops uh, i should put that down now but i did get the pickup of the week it's a little bit different uh but i thought i would put that up but before doing that i got a boxed and complete game boy council this was $10 that it cost me. I have never come across this. It has the original styrofoam. It has everything in this. Uh, and the box is like pretty much in mint condition. Uh, the lady said it was her father's. Her father passed it down to her. She had no, um, no feeling whatsoever for this. So I, uh, scoring this for $10 was really awesome. And I got a couple of PS3 games, which were I think 1, 2, 3, 4... And I think one of the Red Dead Redemptions 5. But I paid $20 for that lot. That was really cool. And this would be the pickup of the week. But, you know, generally when I find something at a yard sale, I try putting a different pickup of the week. Uh, maybe you guys might not agree with the pickup of the week. But this is the pickup of the week. And we'll show you the pickup of the week. I also found two more games in a PS2 uh, from that PS1 haul. Hi. I'll be getting uh, two more games. So hopefully uh, yeah, everything works good. out. And I'll show you the two two games most likely there will be the pickups of the week all right so i'm trading away these games i got forty dollars trade credit plus i had twelve dollars trade credit from before and i'm getting uh i couldn't they didn't accept these games unfortunately so i will be stuck with them but uh not a bad deal the epic mickey was brand new and uh that was the epic mickey used so i'm going to be seeing what games i'm going to be purchasing found two more games in a PS2 uh, from that PS1 haul. Hi. I'll be getting uh, two more games. So hopefully uh, yeah, everything works good. out. And I'll show you the two games. Most likely there will be the pickups of the week. The pickup of the weeks are this game right here. And The Last Story, which is a really rare game. It's going up in price. The Svania gentlemen uh, to VGP told me about this game. It's uh, boxed and complete. So yeah, can't be more happier than that There you go folks. These were the two games I decided to get uh, This is just a more game that I decided to get because I don't have it in my collection So this is $20 and I got this uh, uh, game for the Wii system 
I don't know much about it, but I do know the price is going up on this game. It was for $49.99. Uh, the guy in VGP uh, highly recommended me to buy this, so I decided to buy this game, and I was really happy uh, to get that deal. I did have a PS2 I didn't use, and a couple of the games where I was not really using anymore, so I traded those away. So that was my overall week, guys. Thank you guys so much. If you haven't seen my other videos, please uh, check out the videos, and please like, comment, and subscribe, uh, and... I always recommend people, if you find these games, just pick them up. You just never know when you can trade them away for games that you need for the collection. Thank you guys so much. We hope to see you guys next week.